guys and gals, what's up? It's Nihon Dagger, welcome back to the Carnage Terra server. We're back at the Desert Build. Yes, it is finally time to unveil what I've been working on, and it's mostly complete. I'm going to finish this up today. Actually, I'm going to try and finish up the whole project today if I can. Um, it should be doable, but I've been working on this for about two weeks. And it's a build I was going to use for another server, but I never got the chance to use it for that server. So I brought it over here to the Carnus Terra server in hopes that I'd actually be able to finish it. And something, something, something. I'm just delaying the inevitable. Let's walk out the front door. And actually, let's fill her up here. And so. I'll explain just a little bit. There's the uh, the temple. We'll go over, we'll go over there soon, uh, but oh no, other way. So let's go ahead and reveal it. Oh, there's some food I made, but yep, it's a sphinx. Caleb guessed it in the comments. Apparently, I guess it must be some of that, that orange clay psychic connection. But yes, it is a Sphinx. And it was a build that was originally going to appear on the Minecore server. But I never got around to actually building it on there. And now, we're, now they're talking about resetting the map and everything. So I probably won't get to build it on there. I may have made, made the right choice to put it on here and I can always if I always want to go build something on there I can build something else I mean it's no big deal so let me just make sure I have this right okay but yes I am building in the desert a giant sphinx now it will be a little bit of a, it'll be a little bit of a surprise here it's, I haven't quite revealed every little little detail about it and I won't be revealing every little detail about it because there are some things with my my desert sphinx that will remain a mystery for now. All will be revealed in time, don't worry. Don't you worry a thing. But I am building this actually as my home. So this is not going to be just a giant build I'm doing just for the sake of doing a giant build. This is going to be where I live and the sun is going down. Crap. Um, but yeah, this is... This is my house. So, I had originally intended for it to be on the Minecore server in a large desert biome facing to the east or west, whatever way I chose to, whatever way looked better really on you know, when it came to sunsets and sunrises and things of that nature. But the reason I wanted to build it is because I wanted to, first off, do a... A large build in the desert, something I've never done before, and I want to do something a little bit different with my build. So, as I'm sure you guys know from past videos, from past exploits that I've had, I have in the past built several mechanisms or other various little bases that have all kinds of hidden entrances and, you know, secrets all over the place that's kind of the idea with with this bad boy is it's gonna have it's gonna have plenty plenty of secrets anyone who wants to come visit me if you are familiar at all with a fellow by the name of generic b and his old build on the hermitcraft server you might remember something called uh, the hermit's hurt and hurdles Yep, going to be doing something similar here with the Sphinx. But what, what, I, what I'm planning to to include in my build, I'm not going to reveal. Because obviously that will take away all the fun of everyone trying to break into my house and come say hi or drop something off and not know where to go. So of course I want there to be plenty, plenty of secrets and I'm out of... Sandstone. I'm going to have to go to where I do my sandstone mining at and mine up some more of it with my, my trusty rusty iron pick here. But 
the plan is everything goes according to plan to have a long complicated way to get into my I guess maybe my my secret area maybe not like not like with Jenny when he had his and basically the only way you could come in to see him was or see his base was to actually go through the hurdles I mean I might not do that I might I might leave I might leave a a peasant entrance for the peasants who want to come and visit me and just drop something off and or maybe come by and just kind of see how I've constructed this. So I'll leave something there for them. But if you want to get to my, you know, my secret base, my actual, my actual little hideaway where I'm going to be doing all of my stuff underground. Oh, did I, did I mention I'm going to be building underground? Because I am. I'm going to be building underground once again, building into the desert. That will be very interesting. And that looks really cool from a distance. I mean... It kind of goes against what I normally do as far as, you know, builds. When I when I do my builds normally, I kind of advise against using all of the same block type because I think it looks really ugly. And you get a little bit of that, that oh, getting shot at. You get a little bit of that texture blur where everything kind of blurs together and it loses, it loses the angles and it loses the definition of what your build is sometimes. But I am I am totally violating that rule with this one because I just want to use sandstone like crazy. I think it looks really nice with the sandstone. It looks obviously better. Oh, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. Alright, so entrance to the hole is right there. Alright, so there we go. So this is my, my big room I've carved out. For mining sandstone. Oh, getting a little bit of block lag. A little faster than I would like, perhaps. Yeah, I've been having internet issues all day. I just tweeted out that I hate Time Warner Cable, and they are the worst. And I would, I would suggest if you get some really fast internet, go with them. Just don't give time order your money because they're crappy okay um i also may have screwed myself because i didn't make another pick crap um so i'm gonna have to break these blocks which i don't want to do and hi get out of here no, we'll run back across the desert. We have almost two stacks now. That's fine. So this is the only dangerous part about being out here in a desert is there's too much of it to actually light the whole thing up, which means I am going to have to spend my nights running back and forth from my mines to the Sphinx. And... I should also mention as far as the hurdles go no, I don't want to mention I don't want to mention what the hurdles are gonna be. I'm not actually even gonna build them on camera. Like I'm gonna build all of the all of the little hidden stuff off camera and I'll eventually I will I'll go ahead and show it off when people have actually beaten it. Cause I don't wanna I don't wanna ruin the surprise, right? If I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a challenge, there's no reason for me to to do a challenge and show it off on camera and show you how to get you know how to get into my how to get into my house and everything when that's gonna be gonna be half the fun. So unfortunately unfortunately I'm gonna work on all that stuff off camera. And I know some of you probably are disappointed and you're probably like, no you how do you never work on things off camera? You hate working on things off camera. Normally you'd be right, but just just for this idea, I feel like I need to I need to kinda do it off camera just to keep keep secrets secrets and keep you know, keep things on the down low for now because that's the way it's gotta be. Otherwise there's not really much of a challenge. I mean it'd be really easy if I told you, Oh, well, you know, if you need to get into my house, all you have to do is press these three buttons and then 
and you press them in the right order and that's how you get in. Obviously that's not going to be, I'm not going to have buttons to press, so I'm telling you that right now, you know, but you kind of get the idea of where I'm going with that. So the idea was I was always going to build this on a server in the a desert. And in particular, I've had this build sitting around in my creative world completed for the better part of, I would say, a year, maybe maybe even longer than that. And I just never got around to building it. And every time I, you know, would go on and do something on my creative world or like do a video on there, I would see it and I would be like, man, I wish I could build that. You know, I wish I was able to actually get that built somewhere because right now it's just sitting there collecting dust and that's no fun fall okay my boots are fine but you know i always had these thoughts like man it would be great to be able to build that it'd be awesome to actually be able to to see this thing completed and actually in a world somewhere so when the server reset came about i was thinking you know the server reset and a name change i should mention because that's when we did the the name changes when we did a reset. But I was sitting around and I was thinking, man, it would be great, you know, new server, new opportunity. It'd be great to finally do something different. I always try to do something different with my builds. That's kind of a, a thing I like to do is, oh, Dom's on. But that's, uh, oh, and he's left. That's that's kind of a, a thing. I like to challenge myself and do do new ideas, new builds, push my push my building skills in new directions. So I kind of thought maybe it would be a good idea to... There's a zombie. I thought he was inside. I thought it would be a good idea to try and do something different. And I had this, this Sphinx idea sitting around for so long that I was just, you know, I was just thinking, okay, well, you know, originally I thought, okay, well, I'm going to I'm gonna find a new jungle. I'm going to rebuild my treehouse and I'm going to do it bigger and better and better than before because I always try to do you know one better than what I did previously so let me break that get that back and that should be it it's very dark in here now and there's a slab and it's ghost somewhere isn't there no why is this? Huh. I'm gonna have to go outside and inspect that slab then. Cause that's weird that, that I need a slab up here on one side. I feel like something has not been built right. Hmm. So I need to take a look at that. So let's come back here. And as far as putting a tail on it, I haven't figured out a tail design. I might do that. I think I might do that. Oh, okay. So that's why. This is this is actually supposed to curve in. Like that. Okay. It's got a, got a weird texture like that. But I digress. We have something cool to build here. So let's see here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six, which means that we're doing this eight by eight is the the size here we need for our head. And that's oh, well I have internet issues. Be right back. Okay, so since my internet's decided to be a little less fussy now. Hopefully, I don't know if it will actually hold up or disconnect me randomly again in like five seconds. Oh, Dom say okay. I figured I would try and get on here and at least finish my build. So, see. This is all... Oh, no, 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 no. No, I don't need to do that. And, oh, I'm almost, I'm almost out of pick. So... How can I? Can't really get back down there easily. Okay, so I can just come on back here. I gotta make another pick now. 
Gotta make another pick, so. One, two, three. Toot toot. And I'm almost out of chest space as well. Maybe we should make another chest. You know what? Let's just use a blast of this wood. Make another double chest. Give some more storage space. Because why not? One, two. That works. And. And keep that because we're gonna need to make some coal blocks. Need four of them. Dun, dun, dun. Bop. There we go. And then the rest of this stuff can all go away for now. I can go in there. Ah, some stuff in a new chest because that's what it's good for. There we go. Carrot. And how is our sun doing? Sun's starting to go down. That's fine. That's okay. We can deal with that. So where was I? I was talking about the oh, a little bit of lag there. I was talking about the. I didn't make another pick. Ah, I did all that and I forgot to make a pick. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me. So, three, cross, and then two, bop, boop. There we go. Mm, bop. So good. Alright. So, let's do that. And we'll. Oh, Omax oh, on. Hooray! I'm not sure he'll say hello. Hey, Omak. Three, two, one, there we go. And now I can just go ahead and break all those. One, two, three. Um going okay. So we need to do all of this and this is the most important part, so it needs to be three high. Oh, no! Don't do that. So this is the key part of the the Sphinx. This is what's going to make everything look awesome. So there we go. We'll do that, then that, 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 and I might tweak. I might tweak this a little bit in the future. Heck, I might even tweak it soon. So, actually, yeah, let's tweak it. Why not? We have the blocks to do it, I think. Let's come on down here. We'll go grab the rest of these blocks. I have a bunch of a bunch of leftover smooth sandstone I accidentally made. I was trying to make regular sandstone, and I screwed it up somehow. So, let's hop on up here. Three. Oh, actually, I want to get that block. This is going to be spawned. I'm going to come back down in time. If I don't grab that now. One, two, three, four, five. And now we'll do one, two, three, four. And that's not going to be enough, so I'm going to have to just break that one to get in. Okay, so now I think we're good. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so that works like that. And then that's one, two, three. Oh, it broke. It's fine. One, two, three. And then this is four. And that's fine. I don't care. Smooth sandstone can go right there. One, two, four. No, no that's got to be one, Two. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's that's gonna be. It's so confusing. All right, so that's two. So this is three. Shut up, zombie. I'm trying to work. And then this is one, two, three, four. And then this whole row gets taken out. Two, three. Replaced with 
Smooth uh, sandstone. Oh, falls back on. Awesome. Three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. And I think this is, let's see, smooth. And I need it chiseled because I think this goes one, two, three. And then one. And it goes one, two, two, one. And then this comes back this way. Oh. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, let's count this. That's one, two, three, four. Wait, is this four? So, wait a minute, this should be, yeah, it's two, two, one, two, one. Okay, so this should be four. And then, yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then this is five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I'm doing this right. It's very hard to build these things sometimes when you're trying to remember how to set everything up. Oh, actually, that's got to be it's going to be smooth stone, and this is going to go three. And that's going to be this is going to be regular sandstone. Three. I think this goes one two. Three and then one, one, two, like that. And I think this is all just going to be a row chiseled. So that'll take care of that. So you are one, two, three. Oh, wait, no. So, two more chiseled and one more on top, and then a sandstone up there. So, can you guess what I'm building? Because I keep having to keep having to go to the the screen to take a look at that. Can you guess? You probably can guess just by the shape what the plan is here. Why the Sphinx is going to be a little bit. Oh, 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 come here. Ah, damn, damn, I have to get that back. But you can probably guess what the, the little twist I'm putting on the Sphinx is. Because you probably have seen this ugly mug quite a few times before. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. So, let's do that. And two, three, four. I might be. Do I have? Oh, no, I have, a, I have another stack of cobble. We'll be fine. I mean, cobble, sandstone. I'm thinking cobble because it's. I'm used to it being cobble. So let's put a torch there to light that up. And then this is all just going to be sandstone on top here. And we'll get a torch in there when we go back down. I wish I bought a brought a water bucket up here. So we'll just cover up the top here, because the rest of this we're not going to need any. Actually, once we get this top one done, we're going to be all done with the sandstone, so that won't be an issue anymore. And now, one, two, three. I built this before, so I know. I remember how it goes, and then one, two. So we're getting close, getting close to being done. And then off the back end here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then same on this side. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And we're almost actually out of, uh, there we go. We're almost actually out of smooth stone. Kind of ran short there almost. Okay, no, not really, but I thought it did. So let's see, how can I 
you know, I can just drop down there. Okay, we'll just do that. So that will just be temporary. And there is our block in there. But we can't use the, the coal that's there. That sucks. Because I would like to be able to take care of that. So the last part, we just need my coal. Goes, uh, let's see. So my coal, so this is the middle, which means my coal goes one, two, three, four. Smooth, 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 and regular. And then we'll put a sandstone block here. Don't want to go spilling company secrets on YouTube, of course. Did he say anything? Yes. I am. Uh oh, I, th I think they were not supposed to say anything. Damn it, Olmok. Ah, great. I'm gonna have to edit all that, aren't I? <laughs> I'm gonna keep quiet now. Don't want to get fired. Yeah, probably a good idea, buddy. All right, so I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet here, and drop off. Remember, kids, don't speak about things you're not supposed to speak about on the internet. There we go. So that's that's that. I think I think we're all set. Oh, you need to make some torches, yes. I need to make some torches. Here's a zombie. Is that coming from downstairs? Do I need to... I'm out of wood too, so I'm gonna have to... Oh yeah, he's he's here. Okay, so we got a, we got a mob problem down here. So where are these guys spawning at? Must be spawning here and here. I'll light that up a little better. There we go. So now, now nothing should be spawning down there. And put some torches there. Let's get these dark spots out of the way. And there's my, there's my two dirt blocks. All right, so let's let's head back up here, so I can put some torches in. Because otherwise, zombies and crap are gonna start spawning in here. It should be good. So let's go outside and take a look at our handiwork from all different angles. Bacon beans. Mmm. Bacon. There we go. Alright, let me get rid of this as well, just so we, can, so we can clean this all up, make it look nice and pretty. And here we go, we're all set. Ta-da! So it's not just a sphinx, it's a sphinx with my face on it. <laughs> uh, uh, it should be to scale, I mean it is... This is 8x8, eight eight, so that's going to be Minecraft scale. I don't know if I'm going to make this a thumbnail or not, because it kind of gives away the the surprise. Now, I might even want to make these, eventually replace these with coal blocks when I have enough coal, or when I get enough charcoal to do it, just so that that is also black like the like the eyes are. Maybe even I'll put some stripes on the on the Sphinx. Just to kind of, <laughs> just kind of add something to it, I guess. But I don't know. I kind of like it how it looks right now. It looks, it looks nice. It looks nice to actually have built this in survival, and not just in creative mode. Oh, I got some food down here. I can go harvest. I haven't harvested my food in such a long time. It's all grown. So this is like a just a, a temporary carrot and potato farm. Just wanted to set something up. Let's get some food down here. Probably go ahead and 
eventually move this all inside. So potatoes, potatoes for days. Potatoes forever. So it's 24. That's more than enough. I'll just replant some of these. There we go. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Alright, oh, I can also go ahead and punch down this, and I'll be able to regrow some more reeds over here. So that's good. Really, I can do that with the whole river, can I? There's a bunch more reeds. Yeah, there's some over here. But yeah, uh, I'll do that later. I can do it off camera. So yeah, that looks cool. I like how that looks. And it's also, it's also aligned. So it should be, it's oriented east-west for a purpose so that the sun will actually come up. If you're looking at it, it'll come up like over the top of the head and go up and then it'll set in the direction that it's facing. So it's it's purposely built on that orientation so that you just get a really cool visual in the mornings and the evenings when the sun is rising and setting. But yeah, this is this is looking nice. And this is just the exterior part. I mean, I, I first off, I probably am going to put a, a tail back here once I figure out a tail design that I like. I haven't gotten one quite yet that I'm satisfied with. I have a large butt. <laughs> uh, big booty. But, yeah, I think this is pretty close to being done. Maybe some, you know, visual tweaks on it here and there. But the exterior... I guess the shell, I guess you could call it. The shell is done on our Sphinx. It looks wonderful. I've got the ears. I've got everything that I could ever have wanted. And now comes the fun part. Now comes the part where you guys go away. And I'm going to work on some of the little tricks here off camera. And I'm not going to reveal them yet. Because I don't want to give them away to the other people who are on the server. Who are watching my channel. I know they watch. I know a lot of them watch. But there are going to be some little hidden things here and there. That are going to make this look really cool when it's all done. It's not just the hard part. The hard part on the outside is done. Which is actually building this. And I'm also going to... I've got some ideas for theming around here. Like I have a idea for maybe a fountain somewhere or some kind of like pyre or something like that. Something that looks really cool. And there'll be more, there'll be more builds, there'll be more structures out here in the future. Maybe I'll build like a giant uh, ov obelisk somewhere over here. Maybe build an obelisk in between the Sphinx and our ocean monuments. And I'll try and maybe build a village, like a desert village, and kidnap a bunch of the villagers that are over in that village over there. That might be something that's cool. But, yeah, for now, for now, our Sphinx is done. Our giant neon Sphinx. Ah, uh, boy, I must have quite the ego to build this after myself. But, yeah, I, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Obviously, will be a surprise somewhere around here. Uh, I just have the dirt here for the entrance. I have to actually build all the redstone for the entrance next, and... And I'm not show off how that's going to work yet, yet. And then this is going to be something. And this will go downstairs to probably our first our first riddle challenge thing. So anyone who gets inside has to go through here to get to my, my secret secret base. Maybe I'll leave some some other stuff in here. You know, just some, some basic stuff. Like, this can be my, my above ground chamber. And then the further and further down you go, like, it'll get more treacherous and the, the riddles will get tougher to solve. So I gotta think of all that stuff and I got to I've got to actually probably plan all that out. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have enjoyed the big reveal. Hope you've enjoyed me talking a little bit about what I plan to do with this. And most importantly, I hope to see you guys next time here on the Carnus Terra server. So take care. Woo, just glad this is done.